The B-1 Lancer is a variable wing, foldable, strategic bomber and is powered by four jet engines. The only military institution in the world that operates this aircraft is the United States Air Force, which currently operates 65 units of B-1B Lancer aircraft. According to the plan, the United States will continue to operate its fleet of B-1 Lancers until at least 2028 or 2030. In 1960, Initially the B-1 Lancer was envisioned as a Mach-2 supersonic bomber with long range and large armament capacity to replace the previous generation strategic bomber, the B-52 Stratofortress. However, in the future this replacement aircraft was developed as the B-1B Lancer which has a speed of Mach 1.25 with low penetration capability. Actually in 1957 the United States Air Force had selected the B-70 Valkyrie to replace the B-52 Stratofortress. The B-70 Valkyrie is driven by six jet engines so that this plane can fly at Mach 3 at an altitude of 21,000 meters. This capability allows the B-70 Valkyrie to avoid interceptors but is at risk from surface-to-air missile fire and radar detection. This has happened to the Lockheed U-2 aircraft which was shot down in 1960. The U-2 also has the same specifications as the B-70. On this basis, the United States Air Force turned to the B-1 Lancer project, considering that at that time surface-to-air missiles were not effective against low-flying aircraft. The development of this bomber aircraft was delayed several times. In 1970, Four B-1A prototypes were built, but this project was discontinued.